All right, so Misty, here we are. This is day two of the Marriott Summer Nationals, and today is the speed day. We got some 50s, 100s, 200s, and man, we just landed on the record board. I, I think you might know some names up there. My huh? hero, Mary T. Maher, is up there. Sippy Woodhead, Legends of Swimming, Dara Torres, who's here today. All world record holders? Yes. You think we're going to see some fast swimming here? I guarantee you we're going to see some special swims today. This pool has karma. So Clark, it's good to see you again. We just did a clinic together a few months yeah, yeah. ago in Phoenix, and uh, here you are at Masters Nationals. What have you been up to? Um, well, I swam World Trials, and after that I was traveling quite a bit. I went home, I was swimming a little bit, you know, a couple times a week with Masters, and just mostly working out and just enjoying myself, and I figured I'd come out here and have some fun. Uh, mornings are a little bit tougher, but just like getting up and getting ready to go, but I mean, it was fun, so I well, we're, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. This is Rick Colella, 1972 and 76 Olympian, and just broke the Masters world record in the 100 breaststroke for age 60 to 64. How does it feel? Oh, it's great. I was hoping to get the record, and I'm happy. And time is better than I did last year, and that's great when you can get faster when you're getting older. Absolutely. Now, happy. you've been swimming a long time. Yeah, well, 50 some years, right? Did you ever take a break? Um, I did some other things for a few years along with swimming. Uh -huh. Then I kind of went back to swimming full time when all those other things were too harmful to the joints. Mostly it's the fun of swimming with a team. We have a master's team and, the, and coach workouts and it's just we have a great camaraderie between all the swimmers and it's just a lot of fun to do it. Well, it's great to see you still in the water and still breaking records. Congratulations. Rick. Thank you very much. Colette Krebby, thank you for uh, interviewing with us again. You're a Belgian Olympian and a longtime master swimmer. What does it mean to you to be here at Nationals after all this time and still swimming? Oh, I, I love this meet because it's always a, a lot of fun, a lot of competition. And uh, I also can meet all my friends, so it is always a lot of fun. Do you have any advice for new master swimmers out there? Uh, yeah, just, you know, Keep doing it, and uh, all of us do have some go from bumps and uh, have our own life. But it is a good way to keep fit and and be uh, and have fun with the, all the other swimmers. Dara Torres, a woman who needs no introduction, a teammate of mine in Sydney in 2000. You're here on behalf of Amalactin. Mm -hmm. Tell me why Amalactin is so good for swimmers. Well, I am their brand ambassador, and I love it because we're outside all the time. We're in the sun. We're in the water. Your skin gets dry, and uh, my mom, you have to always listen to what your mom says, is a big proponent of amlactin. She's been using it for about 15 years, and you as a swimmer probably know that you have to reapply a lotion like all the time, and with this lotion, you can just use it once, and you're good for the day. That sounds really great. Now, amlactin is doing something really special. They've donated $2,500 to the U.S. Masters Foundation Swimming Saves Lives. Why is that important to you? Well, first of all, I'm very grateful that Amlactin is donating that money. I mean, it's awesome. You know, the CDC says that about 30% of adults can't even swim a length of the pool. And you don't really realize that. We come to these, you know, awesome swim meets and, and you see all these master swimmers swimming, but there are a lot of adults out there, let alone kids, but adults that, that don't know how to swim. And it's just very important to be able to give back and, and give this donation to try to help people learn how to swim. So what is master swimming and being here, what does that mean to you? You know, it's so funny because growing up, and you probably know this, when you, when you heard master swimming, you're like, oh my God, that's such just like old people swimming, you know? And, um, but then when I went to my first master's nationals back in uh, 2006, when I just had my daughter, it was just the most amazing event, you know? I mean, the, the, the association puts on such a great event. You're here with people that love the sport. They're not here because their parents are making them come. It's because they love the sport of swimming. And it's just so great to see that attitude and see how much everyone loves loves being here. I'm here with Dr. Gennadius Sakalavis and he's better known by most of the swimmers in the swimming community as just Dr. G. And uh, Dr. G, you've been working with swimmers for a long time. I remember when I was swimming, uh, you were doing lactate testing with all of us, coming to Stanford, coming with the Olympic team. And now you have a, a new product. Tell us about that. Yeah. So now we develop new tests which is called Swim Power. Why Swim Power? Because Swim Power test records speed and uh, force in real time. And product, product of speed and force is power. That's why we call it swim power. We can look uh, in conjunction with the video, and we can look at that uh, overlaid with the video, uh, what at mistakes athletes are doing. Now, I understand you've used this with a lot of the big time swimmers. Who have you worked with? 
I worked with the 45 Olympic champions already. I was surprised that nobody is swimming perfect stroke. Yeah, initially we thought, oh, if it's Olympic champion, world record holder, that should be perfect stroke. We want to mimic the stroke, correct? But the problem is there are strengths and weaknesses for everybody. Nobody swims perfect stroke. And if you will mimic wrong part of the stroke, like weakness of Michael Phelps, we'll be swimming just slower. So Misty, you nailed it. Fast swimming here on day two. It's been hot. Everyone's on fire. The meet is still going on. We're just getting warmed up here. So you're telling me we've got more action? Yes, three more days. And if people want to see it or find out the results, where they go? They need to check out USMS.org for the live feed, the social media, everything you wanted to know. So I'm Rob, this is Misty, and that's a wrap for day two.